Hello? Hey, this is Roy. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, in the parking lot with the gray Camry. You put a note on my car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It was an accident. So, so is it is it just when you open the door, you hit the side or what? Uh... No, I, I was, um, I was, I'm one of those sign spinners. You know, like I spin a sign over on the corner, the cash for gold. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, I was spinning my sign next to your car, and your car was too close to me, so my sign kept hitting it every time I spun it around. The sign? Yeah, yeah, I had a big a big wooden sign in my hand, and I was spinning it around and doing flips and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and, and, and my sign, okay. your car was really close to my sign, so my, my sign kept hitting okay. your car over and over. Oh, it's a, you, uh, you, it's a wooden sign, it's, uh, it's on the side of the car, where does it spin? Um, I was spinning it all over the back of your car, all over the, the trunk. Oh. Because you were too close, you you're parked too close to to where I was uh, spinning my sign behind your car. Oh, so, it's like, so, but what, did, was it hitting the, like, the back part, or yeah. the, where, where was it hitting? Yeah, the back part. I hit the back part about 300 times, because I was spinning it really fast. So I just, I kept hitting it over and over and over and over. Over and over, and over and over. It's completely in the rear, or? Yeah, well, well the, I was walking, I walked next to your car, and, and went to the front oh, for a while. Oh, you were walking. It's in your hand. It was in your hand. Yeah, it was in my hand. And 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 I walked around. I wa- I walked next to your car, and I kept spinning. Yeah. And and I kept hitting the side of the car as I walked to the front. And then I started hitting the hood. Oh, you could you could you cannot. I mean, when it's in your hand, you cannot just stop the spinning. No. Oh no, I'm a true artist when it comes to sign spinning, and I don't just stop. Uh-huh. I I because, you know, they're paying me to spin the sign. If I don't spin the sign, it's like I'm stealing from him. Whoa, well, I see now that it's on the right. It's all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I just I, I kept all hitting this. it over and over and over. Cause you're, cause well, I was, what do we do about this? I don't know. Maybe don't park your car so close to where I'm where I'm getting ready to walk around and spin my sign. I, I always. What do you mean? I'm I'm parked perfectly in the middle of the lot. Well, yeah, but I, that, I, I always I always walk. I always. You are you are close to the line, maybe. We should, we should learn how to park. But I always Not walk that. around that area and spin my sign. Well, if you want to walk around, you should be parking somewhere in the corner. Then no, no, you, 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 sh- park. you should park somewhere else because that's where I spin my sign. So, I, I, so it's not my fault, it's your fault. You, you hurt my sign, you dinged my sign. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you do this every day, there's some... You're hitting somebody's car every day, is that right? No, I, I don't hit people's car on purpose. You you were just parked in a, uh-huh. in a dumb place. I, I worked for the Cash for Gold place, and I was just spinning their sign, that's all. What 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 department, what, what college? You are a student in what college? Oh, no, I'm not a student. I'm a sign spinner. I, I work at the Cash for Gold you, place. I, I'm This is my, uh, that's just where I work. Yeah, but why you are in a parking lot at the University of Akron? Um, because I don't know that that's where my that's where my dealer lives. That's where we meet. Your dealer lives at the University of. Well, he 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 you know he he uh, deals back there. That's where we meet. Because uh, you know there's never any cops back there. We always meet back there, like right in that spot. Yeah. So basically, you go around and do this, and then any car. Gets damaged, it gets damaged. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, because it, 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 it was too close to me when I was walking by to, to go see my dealer. Yeah, but the, the car is parked and you're walking. So who is moving, car or you? Well, I, I was, and my sign was moving too. I was spinning it really fast. Yeah, so then you should stop spinning. When, when you're walking between the cars, you should not be spinning. Well, no, that's like stealing is from that my employer. Call? That's like stealing from the cash for gold people. Where is this company, Cash for Gold? Oh, it's over, uh, you know, by the highway. By the highway? What's the What's your What's the name of the guy who give you this job? Uh, it's Eddie. Eddie. Big Eddie. What's the location? But it, it's not his fault. It's It's your fault. Well, it's your fault. You're walking in between the parked car and then spinning it, and you're telling me I parked at the dumb place. What What the old bullshit is that? Well, because you did. Because Because it's that's... my It's my job here. 
I am a professor in chemistry. I park here every day. But that's where I spend my you, sign. You hit my car and then I got scratches. You put a note. That's okay. But then you, you're telling me that I parked in the dumb place. How dumb is that? Well, it, it, maybe you should just park somewhere else when I'm walk when I'm walking by, spinning my sign. Oh yeah. Then then somebody else will be parking in this part. You're walking. So you're walking, and then I park when you're walking, or my I park the car, and then you walk around it. Well, I can't help it. I had to get around it. Why you had to walk here in the, in the parking lot here? Because I, I'm you advertising. I'm advertising cash for gold. You advertise. You 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 advertise. You don't you don't walk in between the cars in the in the parking lot. I do. That's how I work. That's yeah, how I advertise. City. That's how people see. Yeah, you know, but then you to make sure that you don't damage anybody's cars. Well, I oh, you know I'm new at you this. Know? Just I uh, but so then you should you I'll should get say better. sorry. You shouldn't tell me I'm dumb to park in my parking lot because I work here for 20 years. Oh, you okay. know what I mean? You yeah. should apologize. You should say sorry when I call you. You understand that? Okay. Well, I'm sorry that you don't understand that it's your okay, fault. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay. I mean, it it it's okay. You know, I I accept the, your. Sorry and apologies, but you're not going to tell me that I parked the dumb place and my car is here every day and you walk around and hit my car like that, okay? Well, come on. Next was, time, don't do this bit. to anybody. Roy, understand that? And anyway, my, my cash and for if gold... You, if this happens to other people, I don't care about any bullshit cash for gold and all that, okay? This is University of Athens. I am an employee here. I'm working here 20 years. I park here every day. Okay. But your your uh, you your car that? your car broke my sign, my cash for gold sign. So I need you oh, yeah? to pay for some paint. Oh, I see. Oh, you come here. I put it to you know city liar, and I said you notice know, you liar, and you pay you pay for my damage on the side of the car. I just need okay? I just need a little bit of touch up paint. That's all. <laughs> Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is September 23rd, 2019, and this is episode 582, brought to you by Billy S, Ernie M, Miguel F, Fun Society Arcade, and Arbitrary Alex. All five of those people would like to wish I Regret Jumping a very happy birthday. He's turning the big 6-0. Congratulations, I Regret Jumping, for making it this far. I think it's 6-0 anyway. It's hard to tell what's real in the PLA Discord. By the way, we have a Discord for the PLA if you're interested in that kind of thing. You can find it by going to phonelosers.com slash Discord. King Richard was just complaining the other day that we haven't had any trolls in our Discord for months now. And I felt like he was really missing it. So join the Discord. Try not to be a troll. We're sensitive people here. We don't put up with as much bullshit as the hijinks Discord. Our feelings get hurt easily. But hijinks is also a fun place to hang out. You can find them by going to hijinks.fun slash chat. That one's themed after the dead. They talk about the dead and the dead's life. And they post videos about the dead. The dead talks about how he wishes he had weed. And he talks about his girlfriend a lot. He brings up his ex-wife a lot. That's a little weird. And he yells at people and they yell back. It's a lot of fun over there. I sure enjoy myself. Join the discords today. They're a lot of fun. Thanks to all the new people who've signed up on the Patreon lately. Like Mike L, Husker Du, Jacob F, Prospection Numeric, Ola Na, Aaron G, Emily A, No Hobo, Matthew P, Slow Elvis, O.S., Rick K, the Screwed In Carpenter, Local 129 Represent. That's his Patreon name. Uh, Jared, Simple Life, Gordon B, Gabriel D, Neil H, Noah. I think that's all of them. There's been a lot of people that's signed up in the past month and a half. You know, I haven't been doing a lot of shows lately. But thank you, everybody, for supporting the Phone Losers and the Snowplow Show and all that stuff. 
When you sign up to support the show, you get an extra show every week called The Hobo Sodes. And you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash support. Hey, does anyone remember when I changed some lady's name recently? It was last month. I changed her name to like Rhodesia Mary 69 Hitler. And I'm looking through the show descriptions right now. I can't figure out if it's in a hobo sode or a regular episode. I apparently didn't mention it in the show description, which sucks because I'd like to play a clip of that, but I can't. Where's that call from? Anyway, the guy that sent it to me, it was the husband of this lady whose name I changed because she actually changed her name. And I called from, I don't know, the city or whatever and said, hey, there's a mistake on your name change. Your last name's Hitler now. And you can hear the husband in the background giggling. He sent me a message. He said, Brad, my wife was fired up. We were sitting in bumper to bumper traffic when you called and I was behind the wheel trying to keep from laughing out loud. I didn't want to give it away. She was so angry when you told her that her name was now Rhodesia Mary 69 Hitler. The last name was so out of left field and unacceptable that it was hilarious. Thank you. And he wrote that to me on August 29th. So it must be one of the shows that happened right before then, but I don't know which one it was. Maybe it was Hobo Sode number 197? I'm too lazy to go check, but that one came out on August 28th. I just want to know if Gabriel told his wife that he was responsible, or is it just a big secret now? Corey from the PLA Facebook group, he wants me to call people and tell them I've been eating their dandelions because he found an article that says dandelions are good for you if you eat them. They build bones better than calcium, they cleanse the liver, and they heal something that I cannot pronounce. And it's from a site called LiveLoveFruit.com. That sounds like a reputable site. That's definitely the place I would go if I wanted to find out which weeds I should eat. So I'm not going to do that. That's a dumb idea. What a dumb idea, Corey. But I do think it'd be funny to just call people up and tell them I was pulling weeds out of their yards. You know, I was just weeding the yard. That sounds more believable than watering people's trees, right? And putting space heaters on their trees. I was just pulling weeds. Their yard was a mess. Hello? Hey, uh, Marla? Yes? It's it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Live down the street on Elizabeth. Okay. Hey, I, I was wondering, um, did you find my, uh, my little gardening shovel out there in your backyard? I think I left it there the other night. In my backyard? Yeah. Or maybe on the side yard. I don't know, because I was, I was doing some weeding. Are you sure you're the right person? Um, I think. Marla? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if it, it had turned up, because I'm pretty sure I left it there by mistake. In my yard? Yes. Why would you have been in my yard? I was weeding. I was, you know, I was pulling up weeds. Um, well, I don't get it, but I was out there just now and I didn't see anything. Okay. I just thought I'd check. I'm probably going to have to go buy another one. Okay. I'll let you know if I see anything, but I was out there just now and I didn't see a thing. All righty. Maybe I'll run across it when I'm next time I'm over there weeding the yard. Okay, I'm still not sure you have the right person. <laughs> I oh. don't know how you got my name and number, but oh, you, it's in the online you, directory. I, I I'm just one of your neighbors. I, I I weed some of the yards in the neighborhood. I usually go out in the middle of the night, like three or four in the morning, and weed people's yards. Hmm. Huh. Just the ones okay. that can use it, you know, the ones that don't ca take care of their yards. Oh, all right. Um, well, we usually try to weed ours, but anyway, I yeah. will definitely let you know. You just don't do a very good job, so I just, I come over and I pull the weeds out sometimes. Okay. Except for the dandelions. All right. I keep the dandelions. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, I, I take those for myself because, you know, they're good, like, they, they, they're they good to eat, you know, for calcium and all that stuff. They cleanse your liver. Yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to be good for you. Yep. That's what I read on the PLA okay. forums. <laughs> okay. Well, if I see it, I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Well, she doesn't care. Let's try someone else here. Hello? Robin? Yeah? Hey, it's your neighbor, Roy, down the street. Yeah. Hey, um, I was wondering if you maybe found my pruning shears or my gardening shovel, like out in your yard. I think I may have left them there the other night. I... Are you sure you... Uh, no, I, I haven't seen anything. I mean, Jay's probably the one you'd want to talk to. Oh, okay. Is he around? Um, I'm out shopping. Right oh, now. I see. Okay. Hmm. You could probably, you know, just pop on by there and ask him. Okay. Well, you, you, but you weren't, you weren't, uh, you, you, you didn't see him like out in the yard by chance? Because it's been a couple days since I've been in your yard. I was out there the other night about four in the morning. What were you doing there at four in the morning? I was pulling weeds. In my yard? Yeah, and pruning and stuff. Four in the morning in my yard. Now, yeah. who is this? Well, it's because I, I work. Uh, I, I work nights, so I'm just more of a night owl. And uh, no, no, we would we wouldn't have had anyone in there. Who's uh, this? Oh no, I I like you guys don't pay me or anything. I, I just go. Out, I I just kind of do that around the neighborhood. I just pull weeds in people's yards that need them and do a little bit of pruning. Uh, no. Yes, I do. We haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen my my pruning shears or my gardening shovel? No. It's like one of those little shovels, you know, those little hand shovels. Now, who is this? I I just use it to get at the weed roots. Uh, This is Roy. Who is this? Roy. Roy? Yep. Roy, where down the street do you live? Uh, just... Um, you know where the blue house is on on South Way? No. What's oh. the address? Um, I, I'm I'm in the well. It's it's like seventy two thirty nine South Way. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't it's, think. What? Damn it! I interrupted her. But apparently, I can just drive by the house and ask Jay about it. Too bad I don't have Jay's number here. Hello? Hi, Trina. Hello? Trina, hello? Yes, hello? Hey, hello, Trina? Hello? Hello, Trina, hello? It's Roy. Down the street. Trina? Okay, okay. Can can you not hear me? Hello? No, I can't. I can hear you. Oh. It doesn't seem to be responding. Oh, weird. That's weird. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I, this is Roy down the street. I, I was wondering if you guys found my, uh, my pruning shears or my gardening shovel in your backyard. I think I left them there last night. I don't think you did. Why? Ah, she hung up on me. Here, let me try her right back. I don't know why she kept saying hello like that. You reached the voicemail for. Hello. Hello, Candace. Hello. Hello. It's hard to hear you. Hi. Hi. It's it's Roy, your neighbor. I don't have a neighbor named Roy. Yes, you do. It's me. I'm sorry. So, who are you trying to reach? Uh, Candace. Hey, I was just wondering, did you guys happen to find my, um, I have like a little gardening shovel. I would have left it in your backyard and possibly my pruning shears. I don't think so. I can check with my husband when I get home. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah. I just, I can't find them. And I think I left them at your house last night. Uh, you weren't at my house last night though. Um, yeah, I was like, I was, I was doing some weeding. I was pulling up the weeds. Not at my house. I yeah. do my own weeding. Oh, no, you don't do a very good job because there is still a bunch. So I, I just kind of go around the neighborhood and do weeding in people's yards that, that you know, don't weed very good. So I was, uh, I was out. Have, huh? Um, I'm sorry. You said your name was Roy? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I don't know who you are. It was like two in the morning. You you wouldn't have seen me out there. I'm I'm just saying I think I left my... It's like a little. Okay, well, don't handheld. come into my backyard at two in the morning. Well, that's when I do my weeding. I'm a night owl. Well, don't do weeding in my yard at all. Well, why not? Nobody else does it. I just, I'm just trying to help. 
I'm just being neighborly. Well, don't. Why? Well, don't. Why are you being rude? As I said. And uh, first of all, you're trespassing if you're coming into my yard uninvited. It's not trespassing. I'm, I'm just doing some weeding. That's all. Yeah, I'm going to disconnect the phone. Why? All right. Bye. Candace isn't very neighborly. Hello. Hello, Angie. Yeah. Hey there. It's it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hey. Um, hey. I was wondering if you um, may have found any of my gardening tools in your backyard. I think I left some back there last night. What? Hello? In my yard? Yeah. Like in the back area? I was doing some weeding out there last night. In whose yard? Your yard. Why were you in my yard? Because I was doing some weeding. I was pulling up weeds and stuff. I was pruning some bushes. Um, what's your name? Uh, this is Roy. I live in the Blue House on Flower Street. You know, just like a block away. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, my kids are screaming and... Yeah, I know. Can you tell them to shut up? Jeez. <laughs> Ma'am? Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hi. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. I was just wondering if you guys uh, may have found my gardening tools. I think I left them in the backyard. You left your gardening tools? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Uh, what is your address? Why? Um, uh, we don't, I don't think you live next to us. Well, not next. I live like a block away. I'm on street. Why? Why would your, why would your stuff be in the backyard? I, I was doing. I was just uh, pulling up some weeds last night. You're pulling up weeds where? In your yard, because there's like weeds and like dandelions. I, I like to keep the dandelions because they're good for me. But mostly, I just like to, you know, just I, I go around all the neighbors' houses and pull up their weeds if there's a lot of weeds in the yards. Yeah, um, so wait, I'm confused, wait, oh, your name is Roy? Yeah. And you, you left gardening tools in the yard? Yeah, well, just my pruning shears and, like, a little handheld shovel thing, and a garden Yeah, rake. where would those be? I, I don't know, because, like, I was back there pretty late at night, and I think I just left them behind. You were in, you were in the backyard? Yeah, just pulling up some weeds and stuff. Of somebody else's house. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's not. Where Where do you live? Down Down the street from you, like a block away. I'm on Street. Yeah, your address is what? I never told you that. No, I'm just. Yeah, I know. Like what? I don't. I don't. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you would be in someone else's yard. Well, I, I, I was just. I told you I was pulling up weeds and stuff. That's all. It's, it's not a big deal. I do this in everyone's yards. No, you shouldn't, and it is a big deal. Uh, what? I don't understand what you're looking for, buddy. Well, it's not that big a deal. I'm looking for my, my gardening shears, my, my uh, shovel and my pruner and my gardening rake. Just like little handheld tools. I just keep them on my tool belt. Yeah, and where, where would those be? In, in your in yard. In your yard, stupid. Like, I, I, like uh, either in the backyard uh-huh. or maybe on the side. Okay, um, and, okay, so if they're there, what do you want me to do with them? Um, I don't know, I just was hoping to find out if they are there, because if not, I misplaced them. Uh Uh-huh, and, like, what, like, you want me to bring them to your house? No, no, just, just leave them, just let me know, and I'll, you know, just maybe set them on the porch or whatever, I'll pick them up later, when I'm out tonight doing my rounds. Yeah, out doing your rounds um, in other people's yards. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm just doing weeding. I'm I'm being a good neighbor. No, you're not. Um, what do you mean? No, I'm not. 
Yeah, you're trespassing in other people's yards if you're doing this. I, no. I mean, I don't think that. I don't think anything you're telling me is true, um, and I don't know why you're calling and harassing people. I'm, I'm not harassing but, anyone. I, I'm like pulling weeds in other people's yards. I'm doing free yard work. You're welcome. I'm just, I'm no. just a night owl. I, I just helping out around the neighborhood. That's all. Uh huh. And yeah. So, what, what's your name? If you're our neighbor, like, how, how come we don't know you? I don't know. I guess maybe you should spend more time outdoors and say hi to your neighbors. My yeah, name is Roy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Your name is Roy? Yeah. Uh-huh. What, and what, what What house do you live in? The, like, the blue house. Why do you have such an attitude with me? I was just trying to find out if my tools are there. You're being just like Mr. Uh-huh. Nelson. Who's Mr. Nelson? Uh, he lives like two blocks over to the north. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, you're, you're being kind of a dick. I, I was just calling to find out if my tools uh-huh. happen to be around there that's all uh-huh yeah, and you think it's normal to like go in people's yards at night and be like yes mess around in their house and in, in their I'm, backyard I'm, in or your people's house, yard? I'm just I'm pulling up weeds I'm doing you a favor uh-huh. just say you're welcome um no um okay hi Hello, is Ashton there? This is she. Oh, hey, Ashton. This is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live, uh, you know, down the street on Boulevard. Hi. Hi. I, I was wondering, um, did you guys happen to find my gardening gloves? I think I left them out in your backyard. Uh. They're the green ones. Why would they? What? Why would they be in our backyard? I I, I was back there uh, pulling weeds uh, last night, and I I think I can't find them anywhere. I think I must have left them in your yard. You're pulling weeds in our yard. Correct. Yeah. Did you happen to find them? They're the the green ones. They got some pink on them. The blue. Sh- Hello. I'm sorry. What? Hello. Oh, hey, is this a different person? Uh, yes, who is this? Oh, this is Roy. I live, uh, you know, d- down the street a little bit. I, I left my gardening okay. gloves in your backyard. I was wondering if you'd seen them. Because I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure I must have left them back there. Oh, when was this? Uh, last night. It was like 3 in the morning. Well, 3 in the morning, that's kind of a weird time. Yeah, well, I'm a night owl. I, I work nights usually. But I, I have, you know, Tuesdays off or Mondays off. I mean. Oh, uh, okay. So wait, <laughs> this is a weird call because I don't think we knew anyone was in our backyard. Oh yeah, no, I was just pulling weeds. That's all. Oh, where at? Just uh, around the yard. Just you know, in the back mostly. How'd you get this number? <laughs> From the internet. From the internet. Yes. Dude, you're creeping us out, man. What are you talking about? Why, why would you say that? Because that is very creepy. We don't know who you are. I'm your neighbor. You're in our backyard I was just, at 3 a.m. Yeah. That we have no idea that you were back there. I was just pulling weeds, that's all. It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I, like, well, I'm really hoping this is a crank call. Because if it's not, well, it's going to be very upsetting. Well, no, like it shouldn't be upsetting. I was pulling your weeds. I was doing you a favor. I do this for all the neighbors. It's not just you. I'm okay, well, weeds. before you ever do it again, you're going to need to talk with us face to face. Okay, well, I, you don't have to be like that about it. Like, what? Did you just keep my gloves because you liked them? Hang up with them. You hang it up. <laughs> Roy, what's your, where you do tell, you live? Tell that lady to shut up. Where do you live, Roy? What's your last name? Uh, it's uh, Gerbel. Like, I, I don't see why you're being like this, though. I'm, I'm just, I was just trying to get my gloves back. That's all. I think I left them on the ground or something. Roy Zerzel. Yeah. What what address is this? Um, Seventeen Boulevard. All right, Roy Zerdell. Yep. So you're just gonna keep my gloves. All right. We will if we locate your gloves. We will put them uh, out in the front. Please don't come to the backyard, okay? okay? Well, that's where the most of the weeds are. 
<laughs> but don't pick a weed. We don't need you back here. Thank you. No, you do actually, because your like your yard looks like a. You're making it look like the whole neighborhood just is a bunch of hobos and houses. Wait, in the backyard? Yeah, well, just everywhere. You just I was just trying to pull up a few weeds. That's all. Why are you calling us at, at nine at night? Because I'm a night owl. I already told you that. But don't you realize that this is a creepy thing to do that most people don't want to talk I'm, at six o'clock at night? Uh, I don't think that's true because I get telemarketing calls all the way up until nine or ten. Okay, what 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 house do you live in? Why? Because you said you're a neighbor of mine. Well, you're the one being creepy now, trying to get my address. You but you're coming over to our backyard. I I was just pulling weeds, though. It's not a big deal. I was just pulling weeds. I did the front yard, too. Yeah. You're saying, Please don't ever do it again. You're, you're saying you've never I'll, noticed... You've, front. you've never noticed that I pull your weeds before? You just now have, are realizing this? If that's the case, we don't want you to do it anymore. Well, I don't. I do this to all the neighbors. I'm not going to remember like which one's you. What's she saying? Tell her. Tell her to shut up. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Like what's she? Like she's just yelling from the other room. What's her pro problem? Roy, creeping us out, man. I'm not trying to creep you out. I just, I like to weed. I like gardening, okay? What's so bad about that? Hello? Uh, hey, if we find your gloves, we'll get them back, okay? Okay. Have a good night. Fine, you too. Nobody's gonna give me these gloves back. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that idea. Those last couple calls were made from a list that Roland sent to me. Thanks for that, Roland. He sent that five days ago. Before that, I was using a, another list from some kind of a running club that someone else sent me. He wanted to be anonymous. But Roland wants me to do some stargazing calls, wood enthusiast calls, lawn killer calls, city digging calls, or time capsules. And he told me the name of the local elementary school. So maybe I shouldn't use these all up because I probably need to call in the daytime to pretend to be the elementary school principal. Or, I mean, I guess I could try that right now, even though I just got scolded for calling after 9 o'clock. Hello? Hello, Ryan? Yeah, this is Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan. This is uh, Principal Frankie from the grade school, the elementary school. Yeah. How hey, you doing? Pretty good. Um, I'm sorry to call so late. We tried to call earlier in the day, and nobody's been picking up. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to be at your house tomorrow morning to dig up that time capsule. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's like right in your front yard. I was buried there in 1959, and we're going to have like several school buses full of children out there to dig it up. You joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. It's going to be like a yeah. six foot by six foot hole right in the front yard. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, like, you, you don't have okay. anything. You don't. You're not using the yard tomorrow, are you? I think it's like right between those two big trees. Okay. No, not using the yard for anything. No, but we're, we'll be. We're trying to sell the house here in the next um, few weeks or so. Oh, but, good. Uh, yeah, probably the noob noobers won't want a time capsule down there anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem at all. Yeah. Around. Okay, and um, it's fine if we, you know, put a six foot by six foot hole. It's going to go down about six feet too. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That that's okay. And then uh, you'll go ahead and fill it in and everything once it's all. Well, I think um, you know local regulations. Like we're we're not like professional workers or anything. So it's not like we, uh -huh. we can go oh, around okay. filling in holes. Okay. <laughs> so, But we'll leave the pile there like for you to fill it back in. Okay. Okay. It's mostly just a fun thing for the kids. You know, there's going to be a bunch of school buses of kids showing up. They're all going to bring their shovels. They're all going to be digging. Okay. Digging a six-foot hole in your front yard. Okay. 
Like, yeah, all right. That'll really, work. <laughs> no problem. Really close to the foundation. Okay. All right. That should be fine. Kind of between the trees, but right up next to the house, right at the foundation. Okay. Actually, your house sits a little bit on the time capsule, so I don't know if we can reach down there and pull it out, or we'll have to like you know dig under the house a little bit underneath the foundation. Really? Okay. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. That that's uh, pretty wild, but yeah, yeah, we can we can work with that. Yeah, it'll be a fun time for everyone. All right. All right. And then, uh, what time are you going to be showing up? Uh, about 10 a.m. is when the thing is scheduled to start. It's going to be pretty much the entire oh. grade school there, and then some of the class of 1959, too. Okay. And there's going to be a ribbon-cutting okay. ceremony. We're going to have giant scissors. The whole, <laughs> the whole thing. Okay. Yep, yep. The mayor's going right. to be there. There's going to be newspaper reporters. <laughs> okay. That'll work. Well, we'll be here. <laughs> okay. Do you have any, um, I don't know, like experience with uh do you, do you know like building codes or anything like do you know how wide we can dig the hole underneath your house for it not to collapse no, I have no idea no i'd hate for the foundation to just collapse in on itself <laughs> yeah that would be bad that would be really bad because if, yeah, we, if we're <laughs> yeah. trying to sell the house <laughs> if we can't find it you know we're gonna have to just keep digging outward until it turns up because you built your house on top of a time capsule Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, I guess we'll have, you'll have to do what you have to do. <laughs> yep, yep. We'll just keep digging out until we find it. Hopefully no kids okay. die if the house collapse. collapses. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, really. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a little uh, rain dance prayer right before the digging. So That's a good plan. Out, uh, All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for your help. We'll see you tomorrow about 10. All right, brother. Thank you. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, damn it. He just did not care. Couldn't say anything to upset that guy. Let's try one of the other ideas of his. He wants me to do stargazing. I haven't done that in a while, I don't think. Hello? Hello, Garrett? Yes. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Um, I was laying out in your yard the other night, and, like, do you have a dog? Uh, yeah. Because there was dog poop in the yard, and I, you know, like, I got it in my hair, because I was laying out there. I, I'm not sure if you know who I am. I don't have a yard. Well, you have kind of a yard. What do you mean you don't have a yard? No, I, I don't have a yard. Don't you live at 49 Drive? No, I don't. Oh, did you move or something? Yeah. Oh, man, whose yard have I been laying in? Uh, Nobody. I don't think anybody lives there. Oh, cool. How so, did you get my number? I looked it up on the internet. <laughs> okay. Well, did you not clean That's up after cool. your dog after he moved? Bro, I haven't lived there in over a year. Okay, well, you said nobody else lives there, so... I don't believe it's... anyone does. So I, I... I know the owners. I put my man, hair... Look, dude, I... I don't fucking live there. It's not my fucking problem. Don't I know, but I put, I put my hair in, like, year old dog shit, thanks to you. Uh, in a fucking... In the front yard? My dog was never even in the front no, in the No, in, in the back fucking yard. What are you doing in the backyard, then? I was just laying out there. I was, like, smoking, smoking a J... Wow, dude. All right, bro. Have a good one. Okay, well, are you going to apologize at least? Oh, man, come on. Let me try him back. Can you just ap- can you just apologize to me? Nope, he's not going to apologize. What an asshole. Hello? Hello, Ryan? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Yeah. Um... I was um, I, I was wondering, like, do you have a dog there or something? I I was laying in your backyard the other night, and you were laying in you were laying in my backyard. Yeah, and I got dog poop in my hair. 
And I was just wondering, like, do you have a dog maybe that you don't clean up after? Or, like, maybe a neighbor's dog go in your yard? Uh, Roy, what's your address? Um, well, I don't live on Inglewood. I live over on Lennox Drive. You know, like a yeah. street over? Yeah. Well, I'm just reading a bunch of stuff about you on next door right now. I don't know what you're doing. But no, if you've been in my backyard, um, what'd you read that's about? trespassing. So. What'd, you, what'd you read about me on I next door? What, what'd you read about me on next door? What are they saying? Well, look it up. I don't have next door. What's your address, Roy? For what? Like, do you even know who I am? Like, if you don't know my address, you said you saw me on some next door thing. I was just trying to ask. I'm just being a friendly neighbor. I was just trying to find out if you had a dog. There's nothing friendly about you calling me and telling me you're laying in my backyard and dog shit. Well, no, I'm I'm a little upset that I got dog shit in my hair. And, like, do you not clean I'm up after I'm a little upset your... that you were in my backyard. Well, I wasn't doing anything wrong in your backyard. I don't care. I, I, I hope was you just... got a lot of dog shit in your, back, in your hair. I was, just, I was just stargazing, you know? I was just laying out there. I wasn't hurting anything. Yeah. But really, what would you? Yeah, what we'll you, you yeah, read? Yeah, we'll get the dog shit out of your hair for you. Come on over. What'd you read about me on next door though? Um, that you're a psychopath. That's it. That seems pretty vague. Like there's no stories behind that. Oh shit, you guys! People are writing about me on next door. This can't be good. Why did he bring that up immediately like that? Does he really think he's been reading about me? Hello. Hello, Ben. Speaking. Oh, hey there. Uh, this is your neighbor. Um, my name is Roy. Hi, Roy. Hi. Uh, I was just uh, calling to find out if you have a dog there, maybe, because I was lying out in your backyard and I got dog poop in my hair. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, uh, we we do have a dog. Which house are you in, Roy? Um, well, I, I live a couple streets over. I'm on Drive. Green Forest? Okay. Yeah, but I was laying in your backyard, and, you know, I just scooted over a little bit, and I got a bunch of dog poop, like, all in my hair, like, all up the side of my, the back of my head and stuff, because I was laying in the backyard. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, it was like... How, you, were in, you were in our backyard? Yeah, I was laying out there, you know, just stargazing, smoking. Uh, Okay. So, just you're not talking about your own property, just to be clear. You're talking about our property? Yeah, yeah, right in the middle of your backyard, because you don't have as many trees as me. So I, I can't really see the, the stars and, and you know from my backyard. So I just lay in yours, usually. Um, all right. Um, I mean, I, I guess, first off, it's a little strange that you come onto our property without asking and also i'm not sure what you expect me to do about my own dog using our own yard well can you go to the bathroom can you clean it can you clean it up whenever he goes out there because it's kind of gross uh no Uh, also how'd you get my phone number by by the way i looked it up on the internet Uh, okay, uh, I'm not going to clean it up if it's my own yard, because that's my own property. Okay, well, will it be weird if I bring a lawn chair with me? Like one of those that stretch uh, out that I can lay in? Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty weird. Okay. Um, I would prefer that you don't come onto our property if you want to, like, talk sometime about, like, <laughs> like if you're interested in stargazing or something that seems like something you could talk to us about but that's not like okay just coming onto my property without asking is not really acceptable well the the main thing is just the weed smoking because my wife doesn't like when i smoke weed so i just try to get away from the house to do that i i really hope this is a prank call by the way no i wouldn't prank call you why what do you mean because <laughs> it's just weird shit to like call me late at night telling me how you like come in my property without asking and smoke weed and stargaze it's it, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal really i 
you know, I'm, I'm not like a, I'm, I'm not a crazy person or anything. I'm just your neighbor. I just, you know, just, just stargaze and that's all. I'm into the stars. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Uh, please don't do it anymore without asking. Um, I mean, I uh, would be interested in meeting you sometime when it's like daytime and okay. you're not like trespassing. Well, I wasn't trespassing. I was just laying out in the yard. It's just, I was just, you know, it just sucks when I get dog poop all over my, the back of my head. And I had to go home and wash my hair and it totally ruined my high. I mean, do you know what trespassing is? Well, there wasn't any signs back there. I, I'm just your neighbor. Like, it's not like I'm a stranger. I'm your neighbor. I've never met you, dude. You're a stranger to me. I mean, I'm not saying you're a bad person, but you are a stranger and you were trespassing. And I don't think it's okay to call and complain when you were the one breaking the law. Okay, well, instead of lecturing me, do you think you could just apologize? Apologize for what exactly? For getting dog shit in my hair. No. Would you apologize to me for trespassing and calling me late at night? I don't think I was really trespassing, and you don't sound like you were asleep. I, I just, you know, I'm a night owl, that's all. I was just, I just go on long walks at night. It's not a big deal. You're just, I don't know what to tell you, dude. You're making, I mean... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It just seems like you're making it out to be a big deal when it's not. I, it's for me to decide if it's a big deal when you come onto my property without asking. And that's, to me, that is a big deal. Like, I have a family. I have, like, I this is my property. This is, like, a place that I want to keep safe. And so when someone tells me that they've been on my property without asking, then I think it is a big deal. Well, I'm basically so making I, it safer. I'm like nighttime security. If I saw someone back there, I would stop him. I would yell at him. Appreciate that, dude. That's, yeah. that's really nice of you. You're welcome. So it's not like I'm making it less safe. I'm making it more safe. And like, you're not back there using it or anything. It's like an empty yard just sitting there. I was just stargazing, that's all. Well, please don't do it anymore, and uh, have a great night. Can I stargaze in your neighbor's yard? Oh, people are so sensitive about their yards. Let's see, what else was Roland wanting me to do? City digging? I can't do city digging. It's too late at night. But luckily, some of these people are not answering, so I can call them back in the daytime. A wood enthusiast, lawn killer. The service you are attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. Please contact customer care for assistance. Message TX2065. Oh shit, I've been restricted on that one. Hello? Hello, Clayton? Yes. Hey, it's Brad from True Green. I was calling to let from you know uh, from True Green, you know the lawn company? We accidentally sprayed your lawn this weekend. I just wanted to call you, call you up and let you know about that. Okay. Um, sorry about that. We were supposed to do the neighbors, and we accidentally uh, sprayed yours instead. We did. Okay. What what, what did you spray it with? Uh, it's like an industrial strength grass killer. We did the front lawn and the back. Uh, okay. So pretty much your lawn. It should be turning yellow already. And the grass is all just going to kind of fall out, and it'll be dirt. Then you can put rocks down. Okay, at the what, what address? At the forty three Avenue. Uh, oh, okay. So sorry about that. They were they were supposed to do like um you know just like five houses down. It's uh it's Chad. He's one of the newer employees. He transposed some numbers. Uh, oh, okay. So what's the What's the so? What's the recourse here? Um, I was just calling to say I'm sorry. It's uh, I mean, people lawns are on the way out anyway. A lot of people are getting rid of their lawns and putting down rocks or doing landscaping or whatever, bark chips. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call my landlord and tell him that tomorrow. Oh, so. well, what's his number? I can call him up. 
Okay, I uh, I'll, I'll I can. Is this your number? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that I'm calling okay, from. I'll, yeah. Are you gonna have him call me? I could just call him. Okay. Well, I can. I I don't know his number off my head. I gotta look at it on my phone. So oh. I can text you. Oh, I don't have a texting plan. They're too expensive. But okay. It's gonna um, it's gonna cause the tree to rot and all the leaves are gonna fall out and stuff too. Like all the trees, all the trees and all the grass. Wait. But you're gonna save money on lawn mowing. So it basically Do you realize how What? No. I'm sorry, what? Um, look up Stephen Balen's number. I'm sorry, what? Hello? Hello? Um, I'm, I'm here. Who is this? Uh, my name is Brad. I'm with True Green. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm not really sure how you got my number, though. Oh, uh, we just looked it up in the computer. We have a whole database here. Yeah, I, I tried to call earlier, and I couldn't get an answer, so sorry to call so late. Okay. Um, look up Stephen somewhere. I'm talking to my wife. Oh, okay. Sound like you're shouting commands at your Alexa. So, okay. Um, um, you're, uh, what's, what's, what's the best number to contact you? Uh, 512. 512? Uh-huh. Yep. 420. 420? 6969. 696. Wow, fuck you. What? 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 Four two nine six nine six nine. Did you say fuck you to me? Four two zero six nine six nine. Correct. Yeah, like on the TV commercials. Like four twenty six nine six nine. Did you just say fuck you to me? I was talking to my wife. Oh, well, that's pretty rude. I mean, you just said it right into the phone. I thought you were talking to me. It's not real. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Excuse me. I said, "Shut the fuck up, lady." He's on the phone. Can she hear me? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna hang up right now. Okay, that's nice, honey. You do that. Good job. You hang up that phone like a big girl. Well, darn, he was getting ready to give me the landlord's number, and I screwed it up by having a stupid phone number. Man, all these people sound really young. I'm used to talking to old people. Hello? Hello? Hello, Michael? Hello? Michael? No, te equivocado. What? Te equivocado. Uh, put Michael on the phone. No, no, I'm sorry, no English. Oh, you better put Michael on the phone. You put him on the phone right now, motherfucker. Hey, motherfucker. Don't call me a motherfucker, motherfucker. No, I'm sorry. You get Michael and you put him on the phone right now. Michael se murió. God damn it. Chalchame. Yeah, god damn it. Put Michael on the goddamn phone. Oh, no. No. Oh, you better. No. Go, go get him. I don't know. I don't know. Go get him. Go get Michael. No, no, no. Come on. Sorry. Hurry up, motherfucker. Sorry, no, no. Hurry the fuck up. Well, shit. I thought he was going to yell at me. I guess that number's been changed. Hello? Hi, Jim. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, it's your neighbor, Roy. Oh, hey, Roy. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. I was uh, jogging by there just a little bit ago. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, are you ever going to trim up those bushes? Uh, what bushes? You know, just along the the hedges, along the front, under by the windows. Uh, I'm sorry. Who, who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I live down the street on <laughs> Avenue. And that had, did I give you my number? Well, no. I just I looked it up on the internet. I was just wondering if you're ever going to trim up those those hedges because uh, okay. like it makes the neighborhood Roy? look like a bunch Roy? of hobo. Roy. What? It's ten fifty at night. I know, but I can still see them because it's it's dark out. I can still see them because they're all jagged. 
Why, why don't you come show them to me right now? Well, no, I, I'm done with my, my jog. I'm cooling off. I'm okay, going to take well, a shower. I don't have any bushes. Uh, no, and, the, the, uh, hedge, the hedges, whatever they're called. They're all jagged. You need to trim those up. It looks like crap. Roy? Really? Roy? Well, it's just that you bring, Where do you, live? you bring down property values when you don't ca- take care of your yard because there's weeds and everything. Where do you live, Roy? Like down the street from you. I'm I'm in the the, the White House down the street. I'm I'm on, just like way Not down, like three blocks down. Three blocks down. It's not even three blocks. Yeah, it is. All right. What do you well, mean? What do you mean? It's, you what do you mean it's not three blocks? It like goes past Red Street and then Casey and then Mercy. I live on the corner of Mercy and. Okay. Like you must. I don't actually know the names of the streets around here because I don't really drive, and when I do, it's you don't, the highway. You don't jog, like probably, because you're a fat piece of shit that can't even take care of your yard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what. Uh, you're 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 on the corner of and what? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't want you coming over here. What are you going to come and shit up my yard too? I'm recording the call. Yeah. Well, that's weird. He just hung right up on me. Maybe these hedges I'm seeing on Street View aren't there anymore. Well, that was the last number I can get to answer. I guess I'm finished with these now. Thanks, Roland, for sending these in. I didn't mention on the beginning, he said he hand-picked these, hand-selected, and it's from a neighborhood association which don't carry the same powers as an HOA, but I'm sure you can get some laughs out of doing stargazing or lawn killers or city digging. I will hold on to this list, and I will do more of these later, you know, in the daytime when people are picking up. Thanks, Roland, for the list. Hey, Brad. Hey. Awesome. I love your show. It's really changed my life around and i don't mean that in a cheesy way but it really truly has that's pretty cheesy anyway i just wanted to say thank you for uh putting on some daniel johnson the other day um on the episode and sure. um, also just really amazed that you uh were able to come across daniel johnson he me is- too i'm amazed that i didn't know who daniel johnson was all these years because i like weird music and he's been around since the 80s what the um, hell will ever will always be i mean i know that he passed away but his spirit is just an interesting one man and i just i'm glad that you were able to to find that and then you know obsess over it for a while and be a part of it because i did yeah, the same thing i'm still obsessed now, one thing i wanted to tell you was that you know when you were putting up recordings that you had found uh you and your friends when you were younger and you were kids and you were running around the neighborhood and, and causing ruckus when i first heard there was those recordings that reminded me of Daniel Johnson right away, right oh. away. And uh, it's just so interesting that then you, you know, you make this um, uh, discovery. And um, yeah, like it's, right it's after. a great one. So anyway, don't want to leave too long of a message. Love you guys. You guys Kinda are long. awesome. Uh, just uh, love this show to pieces. You guys are freaking great. You know what really sucks about those old recordings of mine is that I had a ton more of them. And as I got older and started liking music, I started recording over all of my old recordings with music. Because, you know, I needed space for that Ozzy Osbourne album to, you know, just pirate tapes all day. So, God damn it. By the way, if you're watching this show on YouTube today, the background video that's playing, you know, it's of me driving from Wyoming to Oregon a couple weeks ago. And most of that driving was on 9-11 of 2019, the very day that Daniel Johnston died. So just think, during that drive, where I am most likely listening to Daniel Johnston at some point, Daniel Johnston is in the process of dying. Isn't that a nice thought? I'm going to play a song of his today on the end of the show, because people need to know about him. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. This is Miriam. Hey, Miriam. Uh, thanks for, for, for me to call you and advertise a, a podcast at TravelsWithMiriam.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll hear about my travels across the world and the United States. Miriam's travels, and everyone. The weird shit I get into with my, my problems is... I'm flying a plane over to Bradley's house right you're, now. You're, you're getting all worked up, Miriam. Settle down. Yes. Where can I land? No, Miriam, you can't land. I'm landing right here. Goodbye. Yeah, Miriam's actually older than I Regret Jumping, believe it or not. And she has her own podcast still. It's travelswithmiriam.com. I think that's what she said. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to put a link to that in the show notes. 
travels with Miriam. She's 84 years old, apparently. Hey, Roy. It's uh, your homie, Rico Rocks here. Hey. I figured it'd be a really nice time to call you. I guess I actually have something important to say today. Apparently, all the time is a nice time for you to call me. Because holy shit, there's so many messages in here from you. What the hell, Rico? I'm wandering around in the backwoods of the Upper Peninsula, Michigan right now. Stranded and walking around in the dark. Looking mm-hmm. for a path home because circumstances led astray. I I went to a party tonight and things went haywire. And let's just say I had to escape into the night. Did so you I, poop in their microwave like Carlito? I bet that's what figured happened. While I'm sitting here just dealing with my own life and my own decisions, I'd call my favorite guy, Roy Brad CP. Oh, Take care, shucks. Bud. Stay positive. Bye, Rico Rocks. Try not to get lost in the woods. Here, I'll just delete these other 12 messages from you. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey. Oh, hi, Brad. Uh, <clears throat> you can phone up people and threaten to have their Facebook account shut down or threaten to have their Twitter account shut down, say they're, they're being racist and they're being absolutely really, really racist on their okay. posts. Or say that. You know, the last time I called up a lady as Twitter and told her she was being racist and using the N-word, she cried. And then I had to listen to a crying woman on the phone. It was terrible. You want me to do it again? They've been very, very inappropriate about things. Bye. All right, bye, knobby guy. Hello. This is Fat Meatball from the Discord. I'm the one with the picture of the baby stuck in the cake. It has been three months since I joined and I still cannot speak because I'm unable to verify my phone number. I need literally any role and I will be able to speak. Okay, that sucks for you. I don't know, why don't you just verify your phone number? Or, join the Hijinx Discord. Over at hijinks.fun slash chat, they don't verify phone numbers. Alright, those were all recent messages. Let's go back and listen to some messages back from August 12th. Oi, Roy, I have an idea for you. Oh, Next time great you do ideas. Voice calls, tell them you're from, well, when they ask you who do you work for, etc. Tell them you're, f- uh, you're from Royco. Roofs and grasses for people of all classes. Oh, and tell them that it's one. against the corporate policy to say the company's name without the tagline. <laughs> so every time you have to say Ro- uh, Royco, or every time they repeat yeah, Royco, have don't, them... Don't want to violate copyrights uh, or trademarks. Say the tagline, uh, which is Royco, roofs and grasses for people of all classes. The all right. best idea ever. Cactus. I like the tagline. It's a good one. I think Royco could use some slogans. Like, we should start up a slogan thread on the, the Facebook group or Reddit or something. Not that your slogan wasn't great. It was great. Hey, I'm Brad. Just... It's Micro Gorgie. Hey. Um, actually, that's why I'm calling. I've decided to change my name. Oh, hey. And I haven't done it on Patreon yet, Shit. but I've done it on YouTube and Bandcamp. So I'm no longer Micro Gorgie. I'm just Apollo. That's okay. the best I can come up with for now. Yeah. You'll, so, you'll change it again in a few years. You might want to change that on new videos you can out. I don't care if you don't have to go back on anything old and redo all that. Oh, yeah. It'll just confuse Thanks. people and it'll be awesome. Thanks for the permission to not do all of that. That would take me probably weeks. But, yeah, to... so I'm Apollo now. Okay. I'm going to try and remember to actually use that name. And uh, nobody's ever going to recognize me. So, oh, well. Yep. What a great idea. Have a good one, Brad. Bye. I kind of like Micro Corgi, to be honest. But Apollo's nice, too. I think I did put Apollo on the music page on snowplowshow.com slash music, I think. And I'm glad it's not a big secret or anything. Otherwise, I would have outed you a few shows ago about that. Hey, Brad. It's Hannah calling from the drive through of a Wendy's because I'm a fucking sad ass. Yeah, I, love I can show. tell by your voice. Um, never call in, so Sorry. I'm a loser. Um, I was just wondering, like, what happened to, like, the Facebook mob things? I was listening to old shows and noticed they disappeared. Yeah, well, well, time to order. Have a fun life. Don't die. Bye. The Facebook mobs are more of a live show type of thing. And I don't do a whole lot of live shows anymore these days. I really should start doing more live shows, shouldn't I? But even if I do, I don't know if I'm going to do the Facebook mobs. Might be best to put those off for a couple more years. Maybe three. I miss them. They were fun. I definitely want to do those again someday soon. Hey, Brad. It's JD hey. walking along the streets of sunny, hot Philadelphia. That's anyway, nice, uh, I'm working on something for the show. I've been really caught up with a lot of work, Ooh, so it's been shit. tough to get done, but it should be kind of cool. Good. It better and be. And see, are we still doing Facebook mobs? Uh, 
any kind wow. of mobs by chance. <laughs> Two messages in a row. You must be in cahoots with Wendy's girl. Had a, uh, a restaurant owner do me pretty bad, and I'm really pissed off about it. So I figured maybe we could mob him, or uh, I would just give you the number. But yeah. I don't think I'll ever pick up his phone because he's a coward and an asshole. Well, it's a but, restaurant. Uh, you know, he has to pick it up. How can I utilize our wonderful listener base for uh, my revenge? <laughs> Your own personal anyway, needs. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Cactus, cactus, bye. Yeah, they'll come back someday. You should send me the number, though. Like, send it as a request. Requests can be sent at snowplowshow.com slash request. It couldn't hurt, right? Just send it in. Maybe I'll get through. I think I'm going to end the voicemails there because it's getting really late. I really don't think I'm going to get this edited tonight. I'm probably going to be releasing this tomorrow morning or something, even though I have a ton of voicemails left. The oldest one is from August 20th. I'm really behind from being out of town for so long. Luckily, most of them are all Rico rocks. I won't delete them all, Rico, I promise. I just deleted some of them, just some of the more recent ones. Anyway, thanks, everybody, for listening. I hope this was a good show. I noticed that um, a lot of the calls had, like, this echoing happening during the first half of the show. And I noticed that halfway through and realized what the problem was. And it was just, like, a, a knob that I bumped on my mixer. And it had an echo effect going through it. Oops. Sorry about that if that was annoying the crap out of you. I don't think they could hear it, but I sure could. You can blame that technical glitch on Billy S, Ernie M, Miguel F, Fun Society Arcade, and Arbitrary Alex. Those are the sponsors of today's show. Thank you for sponsoring the show. Thanks everyone else for supporting the show at patreon.com slash phone losers and the other places. I'll see you all next time, hopefully tomorrow, but maybe not because now I got to edit all this shit tomorrow. It's getting late. I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Happy birthday. I regret jumping. Here's some Daniel Johnston. I'm getting closer to the facts. I've turned my back on silly dreams. I'm walking down that lonely road in my heavy load. I didn't bother to bring it when the sun shines down. You were laying in my backyard?